Hello and welcome. My name is Christine Dosti. I'm with Sacred Vitality. I just wanted to pop on and show you a quick little craft that you can do to help a loved one and also do a little magic because who doesn't love a little magic? So first I started off with this very simple sack that I made. I hand stitched it. You do not have to do that. I just had some time. I did it while watching TV, so it didn't take a lot of time. And then I put little Velcros on the inside. They were just stuck on like tape. So you can see it's just some stitching. Now I added a little bit of magic while I was doing the stitching because I was thinking loving thoughts for the person that I was making it for. And this is a very simple way to take things from the mundane to the magical. You bring your conscious awareness to what you're doing and you bring the love. So the reason I made this is because I have a little one who is nine years old. He loves to play the video games as they all do. And I realized I'm not going to be able to get him to stop playing the video games. However, he gets headaches as soon as he comes off. It might be sensitivity to the television, to the little screen. He only plays for an hour and a half, but it happens quite regularly. And it seems that the transition from getting off of the screen and facing reality again causes a uh, overstimulation for his eyes and he ends up with a headache a lot of times. I try to get him to stop playing the video games, but he will not. So I'm trying another little magical way to help him out and make that transition a little easier. As I said last night, I crafted a little bag while watching TV. I'm sure you can buy them somewhere. It would have been great if I had a sewing machine. <laughs> it would have gotten to get a lot easier, but it's okay, you need a little sack. And then you need a little cheesecloth sack like this, something that can breathe. We're going to make a kind of sleep pillow for the eyes, just something very simple. So chamomile. Chamomile is a water element. It is working with Cancer, Leo, it's ruling planet is the sun and the moon. It's for power, anxiety, balance, calms for all sorts of things for sleep, of course. It works with the solar plexus and the throat chakras. I'm just gonna put some in there. And while I'm putting it in, again, making the mundane into magical, I am thinking about what I wanted to do for my son's eyes, of course, whoever you're going to make one for, you can choose the intentions that you want. So I'm just charging up the chamomile to work in that respect to help with the transition. And then next we have some lavender. Lavender is an air element. It is working, uh, it's great for Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Pisces, Virgo. It's got the ruling planet of Mercury. It's very grounding, it's very protective. It helps release anxiety and stress, which I think seems to be what's happening to his body. So I'm just going to pour that in there and think about the protection that I wanna to give to his body, to his eyes, to his head. Great. Oh, I wish you could smell this, it's so wonderful. Next, we are going to move to hops. Hops are for Aries, they are a fire element. They're really good for the head, the eyes, the face and all that stuff, it's great for sleep. So again, I'm going to think about how I want him to be able to put these on his eyes and not have the headache that comes barreling in on him. Next, I have some hibiscus flowers dried up, and these are a fire and water element. They're great for Taurus, Venus. They're great for concentration, for focus, for peace and sensitivity. So again, I'm really focusing on that peace and sensitivity aspect. Mm, that I want him to be able to use. And he also sometimes wakes up with nightmares and doesn't sleep well. So I'm going to have him using this at night as well. And then finally, I'm going to put in a couple of strands of catnip, a water element, great for Cancer, Libra, Pisces, Venus, and any of those problems. I'm going to take the stems off actually. And these are also really good for nightmare, uh, acceptance, just general feeling of peace. So I'm just going to take all of that off into the center and thinking about that and breathing my intention into what I want this bag for him to do. 
And as you, well, you can't see, but the herbs, they get messy, which is why we take them and put them in another little satchel so that you don't have little grains of herb all over the place. But oh, that catnip was so fragrant. So then I am going to just tie up the bag. Does it go on both ends? Yep, so we're just gonna drawstring tie it. You can get these at like health food stores and stuff as well. And I'm just going to hold the bag and charge up the entire bag and thinking of the intention of what I want this to do to help him to transition away from the screens, allow his body to calm, his nervous system to calm without that excessive charge that is ramping up into his head and causing him to have a headache. And as well, when he goes to bed at night so that he can sleep peacefully and not come in my room and wake me up, which he loves to do because we all love our sleep, right? So then I just put the bag inside the little satchel that I made and now we can move it around and it's nice and soft and he can just place that over his eyes and smell it. And he has a sleep bag and a after video game bag. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to include in the link below or in the description below, what are the herbs and why I use them. And thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.